Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing... A Hi, welcome back again today on another episode of How to Do a Fishing Rig. Today's fishing rig would be a pulley rig, right? This pulley rig is very commonly used in the UK, Singapore as well. Um, it's really, really very simple. Uh, all you need to do is you need to know how to do this knot, right? Do check out on my old video on how to do the Apollo knot or the Apollo rig. All right, I'm gonna show you how does a pulley rig work later. Okay, so this is the Apollo fishing rig. Right. Very very nice and simple. Right. They use this. Uh, usually, some casters use this for big game. So, what do you need to do? Uh, or what you need to get when you want to do the pulley rig? Okay. The common thing you need to get, the the basic thing, will be your Dupont line. Right, any fishing line will do, but I would recommend a Dupont, 40 pound. If you want to go for a big game, you can do 80 or 60 pound. Right, this little devil, you can get it at Gary. Very, very good. This one is the one that attached to your sinker. The pulley, you can get it at Gary as well. Right, this one is optional. Uh, if you're gonna you gonna put it uh, near to your Apollo uh, knot like this. Yep. Optional. You see, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't do. <laughs> and the hook. Okay, uh, I'm gonna tell you why I'm gonna use this hook. Actually, all hook can, any hook will do, but I prefer to use this. And the scissors. Alright, I'm gonna show you how does a pulley rig work. Okay, how your pulley rig is gonna work, I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work. Okay, this is your pulley. Right, you can see it here. Okay, this is attached to your main line or your leader. Right, so this one. Okay, this one is your hook. Okay, so what happened is when you put your bait here, right? This little devil here, when you cast, it's gonna stay. It's just gonna stay here. Okay, but when it hits the water, this, when it hits the water, it's gonna like that. So this thing is gonna float when it touch the water. But when you cast, it's, the bait is just gonna stay. Unlike the Apollo rig, unlike the really really simple rig, when you cast, sometimes your bait do fly away. But this really holds your bait. Okay, that's why people use uh, a pulley rig for your surf casting uh, session, right? What you need is cut from the deep Dupont line, from the fishing line. One arm length, another one is also one arm length. Alright, so um, before you do the Apollo uh, knot, from my previous video, the Apollo rig, uh, you need to put this barrel shiver together. Okay, I'm gonna show you slowly. Stay with me, I'm gonna show you really, really slow how to do this, okay? Okay, before you do the loop, the normal loop that you're gonna tie it all around, you need to put the barrel shivel, right? Not the snap shivel. You can put the snap shivel as well, but I prefer using this barrel shivel. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it inside here. Yep, and then you do your loop, okay, like this. Right, and proceed as per normal on how you do your operation. Okay, side. If 
you're not sure how to do this, you can always go back to my old video on how to do it, the Apollo ring. Right? I show you step by step how on how to do that. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do the uh, pulley rig. So just gonna do this really really fast and then show you what's the next step. Alright? Turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well it's not as far fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get a service just like that start. Okay, once you keep on tying and this gets smaller, alright? See the loop and the barrel shiver it gets smaller, right? Then do one last round, put it inside, and then tighten it. Okay. Yep. Tighten this. Tighten it all the way. There you go. Then you have this. <laughs> Tada! They just say that, tada. Okay. Uh, then you have this, right? So, tighten this with a plier. Let me tight, then you can cut this way. Like that. So, also you can cut. There's two. Okay, take the longest one. All right, the short one you can cut away. Okay. There you have it. Here. All right, so there's no line here, there's only a line here. So take your pulley, this, slot it inside. Okay, there you go. All right. Stop here. Sit. Okay. Alternatively, actually, if you don't want to do this, right, you can use bits on uh, to replace this. Most of the subcasters do that as well. They put color bit, color color like pink la, orange, uh, red la. Okay, for me, I prefer using this it's normal fishing rig. Okay. Once you put the pulley inside, ready like this. Okay, then at the end of your line, this one, right, you can put your little devil. This is the little devil. Right. Again, uh, there's a lot of method on how to do the uh, pulley rig, but mine is the most uh, simple, I must say really simple and fast one. Okay, uh, some of them will put a snap shovel here and then attach to the little devil but for me I just put it like this okay how I'm gonna tie it is right put it inside here so it put it inside here make a twist two three four five put it inside the loop and then just pull it Just pull it really good. All right. And cut this. Okay. And you're halfway done, All right? You're leave the devil here. You pull it here. Okay. All right. Uh, for this, optionally, you see, got got uh, excess of a uh, Dupont. 
here and here alright so um, what you can do actually for me I will cut this rubber this rubber cut small pieces right cut it put it inside and then burn it to make it like this see yep you can do like this as well right to 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 make it a bit nicer right but not doing that just cut it will work as 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 well as well as well i mean sorry as well yep Okay, uh, once you done with that, put it one side, then cut, I mean half of your arm length of your, of your fishing line, your Dupont, alright, and then what you're gonna do is put it here, inside. Okay. There's a lot of method of uh, tying from your shivel, right? This is my method. One. Okay, show it again, okay? Put it inside. Put it inside here. Make a loop. Turn. One, two, three, four, five. Then pull. Alright. There you go. Cut. Then at the end of this line, you get, you need a snap shovel. Okay, something like this. It's like got a barrel shovel here, but you got a snap. Thing. Right at the end of that, you gotta put this one, two, three, four, five. Then that, and then gotta get this hook, right? Actually, from here, right? If you don't want to put the 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 barrel, I mean the snap shovel, you can just attach your normal um, normal hook at this, right? But I prefer using this. I'm gonna explain to you why, right? The reason why I, I like using this. Was you can put lots of baits here. Okay, you can load your pompon or your wat wat or your tamban, whatever here, and then tie it. And then make it really nice. You know, again, when you want to get a fish, it's all about the presentation, right? And then you can load it up here. Yep. Then you can attach to your Peter Devil. And it's done. Really, really very simple. This is quite easy and uh, pretty basic for a pulley rig. Right? Do comment down below on uh, how do you like my videos. Uh, maybe with your comment, I can do a bit better. So maybe my uh, my pulley rig is not strong enough. You guys, you guys got a uh, better pulley rigs? Just comment. I need to know as well. I'm not perfect. Uh, as I'm just I'm I'm quite new in surf casting. I just surf cast like uh, five six years ago. Yeah, that is when I start to be serious on surf casting. <laughs> right. Do comment down below, subscribe my video, and I see you again on how to do a fishing rig. Good night.
ಸಾಧನ